and that's binomics. Today, I'm joined by healthcare advocates and leaders. Many of I've started to name you all. We'd be here all night, but uh, but I want to talk about key parts of my economic plan: we're protecting consumers and reducing healthcare costs. Practically in history, and again, a tribute uh, to him, to our policies, and a tribute to the private sector, which created many of these jobs, working together with public and private. And uh, with that, we. Uh, uh, continue our progress. We're laser focused on the economy for the people, creating jobs, growing the economy. As I said, 6.6 .6 million new jobs were created last year. 6.6 .6 million new jobs last year. A stark contrast. There is a huge update from the lawmakers. The top Senate Democrats have unveiled everybody a new tax bill that will help so many people with stimulus. Yes, folks, a ton of more people in the United States will be getting a Ford stimulus check sooner than you could believe it. Now, here's the most important information that I have for you folks. Today, the Senate Democrats introduced a resolution condemning a proposal that the House Republicans issued last month to raise the sales tax to 30% and repeal other taxes like the income, payroll, and estate taxes. Not only that, but it would also declare that the Senate opposes paying for the tax cuts of Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, and the benefit cuts for service members, veterans, or the law enforcement. The Republicans and representatives introduced a bill, which was co-sponsored by 25 Republicans, to significantly raise sales tax to account for almost all of the federal government's revenue in exchange for the taxes being withdrawn. Now, this proposal would allow the workers to keep their checks, without the government taking out any money. But the thing is, they will need to pay significantly more when buying products, including groceries. In an official statement, a senator said, A national sales tax is an awful idea. It's going to hurt so many people. But one thing to look out for is a Ford stimulus. Now it does make sense because different versions of this tax proposal have been introduced in Congress. And the proposal of this term is, is that Republicans have pushed to repeal funding, which was given to the Internal Revenue Service, which is the IRS, to hire 87,000 employees over the next decade from the Inflation Reduction Act money. Now, this IRS funding and the new hires were intended to increase tax enforcement or um, for the high individuals that are earning a lot of money. Now, this Fair Tax Act would also significantly limit the role that the IRS plays in collecting taxes. So, if you collect a lot of taxes, that's what the IRS does. Because I also want to say that this uh, is from Finex experts and that the long-awaited South Carolina 2022 individual tax return, well, there it's a tax rebate. It's an income tax rebate and has already begun to be issued to eligible taxpayers. The South Carolina Department of Review says that if you file your taxes with individuals, then you should uh, receive your rebate soon. But today's the last day for the South Carolina residents to file anything for the 2021 taxes and qualify for the payment. Because according to the state's Department of Revenue, rebates will go to the South Carolina residents who file their taxes by February 15th, with recipients receiving their payments sometime in March. Rebates will be capped at 800 bucks. Yes, folks, $800 is the max you'll receive from that. Because with that information, we know that rebates will be capped. Latest round of stimulus checks already starting to show up in bank accounts. Hopefully you're going to receive yours in the next. The stimulus checks are coming and not just $1,400 checks for adults, but also more money than ever before fund. So you're ready for the next downturn and put some money in a 529 college fund for the kids or for you. For old bank. That check your stimulus thing, it actually gave my old bank account. That's even though she gave the IRS her new banking info. We have some breaking news, everybody. Unemployment claims are continuing to rise even higher. Economists are urging that Joe Biden take executive action on this and send out extra relief to millions of Americans. However, Democrats and Republicans are just trying to come up with an agreement on who should qualify for this financial assistance. And now the sending of stimulus payments and tax refunds as inflation relief continues in the United States is here. So several states actually across the nation have approved the sending of payments as inflation just continues to get worse over the next coming years. For instance, in New Mexico, continuing to issue a Ford stimulus check. In New Mexico, they're issuing a Ford stimulus check, everybody. It's worth at least $400. It's going to go to qualified households. And during the season, the state allowed allocated $10 million for economic aid to help the low-income residents. And no maximum income has even been specified for eligible households. 
And these payments are earmarked for families with the lowest incomes first. And Human Services Department cautions that there will be a limited number of applicants. One state official even told Yahoo News that this is a one-time relief stimulus payment. It follows the three other rounds of stimulus checks and other tax rebates issued by the New Mexico government between May and August. But this new stimulus check will be allocated to low-income families only. The new inflation relief check that was signed into the law was pushed by the governor. It was for $200, and it's going to be returned to every resident in the state. The state auditor says that your checks are already going out to eligible recipients. And for those who haven't received the first $130 of refund yet, well, it will be combined with a $200 check if you are married and filing jointly. And now $650 is also headed your way. According to experts, if you receive a tax refund and you're signed up for a direct deposit, then the Department of Revenue will deposit the money in your account, just like it did with the $125 stimulus check early this year. The Labor Department reported this week that slightly more Americans applied for unemployment benefits compared to a year ago. Even as the uneven U.S. economy just shakes around, applications for jobless claims has also remained very low. Even as the Fed has cranked up its benchmark, everybody, and the borrowing rate in an effort to cool down the economy, which has been suffering from inflation and other logical logistical issues. Now, folks, not only that, but listen to this. Fed officials have warned that the unemployment rate will likely just remain and rise as part of the fight against rising prices and stimulus payments. And the most recent government jobs report likely stuffed out any hope that the Fed would even pause rate increases when it meets next week. American employers showed their hiring in September. Now, they still added 263,000 jobs, and the unemployment rate fell from 3.7% to 3.5%. It matches a half a century low. Early this month, the government reported that inflation in the United States has accelerated in September. With the cost of housing and other necessities intensifying pressures on families and businesses, four-decade high inflation has also prompted the Federal Reserve to keep raising its interest rate, which is currently in a range of 3 to 3.25 percent, a little more than six months ago. That rate was near zero, and this sharp rate hike has pushed mortgage rates up near 7 percent and made other borrowing even costlier. Now, the Fed hopes that higher interest rates will slow borrowing and spending and push inflation closer to its traditional 2 percent budget. Now, the government also reported that the U.S. economy rebounded in the third quarter, expanding by 2.6 percent after contracting in the first half of the year. The total number of Americans collecting unemployment also rose to 1.44 million early this week. It's the highest level in seven months, and it's still worrisome. It shows that President Biden must do a better job and send out stimulus payments before the end of the year. If you guys agree, tell me in the comments. Look, I also think the American people sent a message that they want us to work together. They've, I've always done that. I know I got criticized for it when I ran. I said I was running for three reasons. One, to restore the soul of America. Two, to build this economy from the middle out and the bottom up. And thirdly, to unite the country. Regardless of what the final tally showed, I'm prepared to work with Republicans. But the American people made it clear. They expect